What's up everybody? Today, I'd like to talk to you about bone marrow transplant. What is bone marrow? The bone marrow is found in the spongy tissue inside bones. It produces red blood cells which fight infection and platelets which help blood clot. The body needs healthy bone marrow to fight infection and prevent bleeding. What is bone marrow transplant? A bone marrow transplant replaces diseased or destroyed marrow in a patient with bone marrow failure with healthy cells from a donor. The replacement marrow travels through the bloodstream to the bones where it begins producing normal blood cells. Who needs a bone marrow transplant? Some patients have bone marrow which fails to fulfill its functions due to genetic illnesses or acquired damage from aging, viruses or environmental factors. Example chemicals radiation etc. Others require high doses of chemotherapy or radiotherapy for various cancers which destroy the bone marrow. These patients need a bone marrow transplant to give them a chance to restore their ability to fight infection and prevent bleeding. Donor bone marrow cells have the added advantage of being sometime able to attack the cancer cells. The Singapore General Hospital performs the majority of bone marrow transplants in Singapore and is the national and regional referral center for stem cell transplants. Many patients in Singapore and around the world have been saved in this way. What are the types of bone marrow transplants? Autologous transplants involve storing the patient's home bone marrow and returning it after the bone marrow is destroyed as a result of cancer therapy. The obvious disadvantage is that the stored marrow may be contaminated with cancer cells which are then returned to the patient. An syngenetic transplant, an identical twin provides the marrow. An allogenetic transplant, marrow is donated by another person, often a brother or sister whose own cells closely match the patient's and genetic makeup if this is not available. Marrow from an unrelated donor who is closely matched in genetic makeup may be used. This is tested by the human leukocyte antigen, AHLA, typing test. What does bone marrow donation involve? Bone marrow donation involves harvesting bone marrow from the pelvic bone of donors. This is usually done under general anesthesia and there is only some mild ache at the site of harvesting for a few which is easily settled with mild painkillers. An alternative is peripheral blood stem cell donation which involves injection of blood growth factors and collection of stem cells from the circulating blood, for both procedures. Donors can go back to full activity within a few weeks. So who can donate bone marrow? Anyone who is fit to give blood can donate bone marrow. If the bone marrow donation is under general or epidural anesthesia, then donors should be forced to undergo the respective anesthesia. How can I help? If you are between the ages of 17 to 50, over 51 kilograms in weight, in good health and fully comprehend the implications of marrow donation, you may register yourself as a potential marrow donor by calling the WH Immunology Center at 687-45049 or 687-43318. A blood test will be done to determine your HLA type. If you wish to donate to the bone marrow program which finances the HLA typing of potential donors, you may call 6738731 to make inquiries. All information above are provided by Singapore General Hospital, Hematology Center. Thanks for watching. Also for the written full post visit my website at thalassemiame.webs.com under the guide section. You are now watching the Thalassemia Me video blog. Bye for now.